session and general talk about the assignment and also thought it apt to give um, a demo of some of the uh, fidget kit that we've attached to a board um, to show you how it can uh, how it can work. This you can recognize probably uh, various of the fidget sensors down the, the, the left hand side there. This might be where you wish you'd sat at the front rather than right on the back or something like that but uh, they're all connected through your normal interface kit. Uh, instead of having a PC, we've got a Raspberry Pi here that's doing the uh, control. Um, and there's this little thing in the middle is rather than having just a single motor like you've got in the development kits, this controls up to eight motors, uh, four of which we've got uh, linked there. And there's a few LED bulbs, switches, smart card reader uh, that got linked to it. Um, the, the controller for this is either through a mobile phone app that you can sort of download and this Raspberry Pi broadcasts out um, an access point to, uh, to, to get to it. Um, you can locate it on your phone if you like. It's called MMU Open Day um, and the, the, the password is just that in reverse. Uh, although you won't be able to do much without the app. To, to control it. So that's that's the SSID. Um, so MMU open day backwards is a password uh, to, to sort of get in there. If you want the software. There's a little NFC tag located on the top, and if you just hold your uh, your phone on it with the NFC reader open, it'll say Do you want to download the software. The software is resident on the Pi itself, and it will just uh, give you a link to uh, getting that back. You need to sort of connect to the Wi-Fi and, and sort of do it through that. I'll try and bring it up to some of the labs to if people want to sort of uh, try it out. Uh, the current software that's running on it. Uh, maybe I'll sort of turn down the lights a bit in here so you can see that better. You said not knowing how to turn down the lights. I think you can see that maybe. <coughs> uh, the Mimia software that we've got on it. Um, it says. Uh, nice to locate. When you start it up, it finds the server. Uh, we can connect to it. Bit of a slow uh, response, but there the uh, just to show you an example of some of the things that you can uh, access from it. The RFID scanner, for example, just at the top. Uh, I've got one of the uh, tags here, but hopefully I'll just hold it next to it. It's picking up that, that tag as you, as you sort of go through it. So presumably then that, you know, that, that's just doing really what you were doing in the labs. Picking something up and then displaying it somewhere on a, on a display screen. Maybe there's a light of it. 
Uh, we've got things like turning the LEDs on. So this is the actuation. Shall I just sort of select the uh, the, RF, uh, the LEDs? Hopefully they again be a bit hard maybe to, to sort of see um, coming on. Uh, I'll look at some of the other sensors in a moment. There's some actuators there for the motor, so they might have the door lock, so we can uh, turn the, the two locks uh, on and off. Uh, or a slider control, so if you've got something like a curtain or whatever, and you want to just sort of have a slider widget to, to sort of move in that way. So as I say, it, that's not beyond what you're doing now. It may look, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's a plan. I can, we, we drag this out on open days just as a way of illustrating what we do in our uh, Internet of Things. The only thing really different is that we're running it from a Pi circuit. That's just got um, Linux lo loaded on and a Java virtual machine. So it's, again, not really any different to what you're, uh, what you're running already. Uh, some of the other sensors uh, that, that are on there, like the, say the... Uh, the, vi the vibration sensor, which I don't think is in your uh, in your kit. There, that's just a little sort of disc there. My hopefully it starts twiddling it. The vibration sensor just going along on the force sensor. I'm pressing it. Oh, that seems to be picked up. Yeah. No, I'm not pressing it hard enough. Port sensor again, sort of going up and down. Uh, temperature sensor, can't do much than that other than perhaps hold a, um, a match under it or a lighter. But presumably it's okay, that's registering as 18 degrees. Might be taking some time to adjust because I've just lugged it across from um, John Dalton building in the, in the open. It's pretty chilly outside uh, there for it. Uh, so some of the things you can't necessarily have, or well, the rotation input uh, you've got. I don't think I can demonstrate the slider because the, uh, the actual slider thing's turned off. The still the sort of work on okay, uh, So it's not beyond uh, beyond the work <coughs> to to build something like that. You're in your, in your own sort of house and you want to uh, somehow can start writing your own controllers. Yeah, I mean this thing looks like. Uh, Certainly not a, a final sort of model of what you what you want. It's not exactly uh, something that you sell in the shops. Uh, generally, they're selling you something in one of those nice little white boxes. But the con concepts uh, still there to to sort of build in. Uh, and so, yeah, some of these sort of things, as I say, shouldn't really be hopefully beyond what you may be trying on your uh, um, on, on on your side. Uh, so if anybody does want to uh, try it uh, later on, okay, please feel free just to hold your um, and hold it next to the, the, the top of it there. You get the screen up. You get a screen coming up saying, "Yes, I'm just trying to." Uh, <coughs> it's coming through. Mine, mine will download. It's already on. 